Unarmored is if your enemy is unarmored. That's the damage you do. Oh. Rob, you don't have the brawling damage chart in front of you right away, do you? Yes, I do. Hold on one second. Oh, ah, okay. Perfect. It's based on your body, you know what I mean? Yeah. She has a body of six. I just can't remember if that's body 2d6 six, or 2D6. 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 Okay. Brawling damage, yeah. Thank you. All right, cool guys. We're live. Let's go ahead and get get started. We can discuss when things are how things are going. Let me see. Uh, make sure we're make sure we're on all the websites. Uh, we're still sending data to Twitch. Let's just wait one second. Once Twitch is live, we'll get started. Uh, just waiting on Twitch. Uh, let's see, it's youtube.com slash mulligan live. Yeah, that's it. And what's the Twitch? Um, mulligan101. And we're on, we're live there, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey, what's up everybody? We're officially live. Everyone can see us and hear us now. So that's cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> so check it out. This is Cyberpunk Red. Uh, it's kind of a custom game. We're, we're calling Approaching Red because we are approaching the official release of Cyberpunk Red, hopefully in the next couple months. But uh, until then, we're kind of homebrewing this Cyberpunk Red campaign. Um, this is session one. Uh, we just had session zero last week where we went over all the characters. If anybody tuning in or watching this video um, hasn't seen it yet, go check it out. It's posted on youtube.com slash mulligan live, and you can learn about our players and who they are and such. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, guys. So let's say that obviously you're in Night City. Uh, we know that Big Z and Cynthia both have an apartment. What I would like to do is decide now first. I mean, Cynthia, we know that you're in, you're in uh, what is it, old old downtown Night City? Right. Yeah, so that's where your apartment is. Big Z, do you want an apartment in the same building? It's because it is the same price. You know, it's just a a, a very pimp studio style um, for that for that price. Do you want to be in the same building so you guys are nearby, or do you you have a different idea in mind of where you might be living in Night City? Same building's fine. Okay. Well, we'll decide which apartments. But um, but yeah, let's let's put you guys there for now. And um, sounds good. Yeah, let me get you guys over there. Let's see. Can you guys see it now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. So we'll just say that that's a typical floor. Um. We'll say you guys are on the thirty-second floor. Um, we'll decide which which one of these uh, studios do you guys want to pull claim to that you're in right now. We'll say you guys are chilling in uh, in Cynthia's studio. Um, you know, you guys just got done with a uh, a gig a couple nights ago. You're still chilling in Night City. We could say one up in Stitch. We're crashing on the couch since you guys were just wrapping something up before you get the notice. But which apartment are you, are you thinking? Just looking at that floor plan there, Cynthia. Um. Probably the corner unit, I guess. Okay. On the far left. Okay. So we'll put you over here. And this one. Sure. All right, cool. All right, so you guys are hanging out in the uh, in the studio. Like I said, you guys got done with just just a simple little gig where you had to retrie retrieve us some files for some client, and um, you know made a little bit of of uh, gig money there. So that was cool. But you're, uh, but yeah, one up and Stitch are still hanging out in Night City. You guys are just crashed it. Uh, Cynthia's. We'll say one up. You got a, a notice uh, from the Merc board um, that there's a 
a, a job available for your team. Someone saw you know your post and you know click through to hire uh, before you do the call through um, to the client or click OK so they can call you. Um, we'll say you guys hit up Big Z, who is in the same apartment building, but we'll say on a different floor. We can figure that out when we need to go there. But so Big Z comes over. You guys are all hanging out. And uh, and you get a call uh, from the Merc board. Um, after you accept that, you know you don't really get details on it. It's somebody just clicks through to do the hire, and then you got to click accept that you're you know that you're available for gigs, and then they they'll pretty much contact you with the details. Um, but yeah, you 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 call that. Let's a little background music going here. That even plays. All right, but yeah, yeah so just make sure. Yeah. yeah, I want to make sure it wasn't going to kick in all of a sudden super loud and yeah. <laughs> drown out this phone call. Appreciate and shit. that. Yeah, yeah, just something a little bit. But yeah, so you basically uh, get the call from the client. Obviously, after you get Big Z over there, you guys are all hanging out. You get the call. Um, it's from an anonymous employer. Uh, I take it you answer. Um, who's the who's the contact person that's supposed to be uh, dealing with? Um, well, typically, uh, you guys are listed as a group on the Merc board, so anyone you guys can chime in. One up typically is the contact. Uh, he's a solo. So, and just for anybody watching, tuning in, we've got entered Zen, who goes by Big Z. He's a rocker. Cynthia Lopez, who is our media. One up is our solo. Stitches, our med techie. Um, so. Yeah, anybody can chime in. Usually, uh, when when one up gets these, uh, you know, you guys get together. He clicks the accept. You guys get the call from the client. They usually on speaker or video, um, and you guys all just kind of chime in or listen to it if that's cool with you guys. Cool. Um, so yeah, you get the call. It's from an anonymous employer. They say. Uh, sorry. Go. Yeah, they 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 say you know a pharmacy on and supply outlet south of Little China on the edge of the combat zone was recently infested by a local gang calling themselves the Jumper Kids. Immediately. We would call the police, but we don't need the bad publicity, hence hiring your services. It's 2,000 EB up front, 2,000 after the job is complete. Uh, but, but seriously, if the police get involved, there's no deal. And, and just so you guys know, you know, on the edge of the combat zone, south of Little China, it's rare that, that police will be there. You know, it's usually, um, you know, they, they, they don't bother with that sort of area, so that's not usually not a big issue. But, um, but yeah, that's the call you get. So the immediate first reaction I have after they lay that all out is I go, all right, so yeah, 2,000 each up front and then 2,000 each afterwards, right? Yeah, that's what we're saying. That's what we heard. Yeah, exactly. And, and just so you know, this Merc board, usually there's, there's, there's a bit of an escrow system. So, you know, even if it's anonymous, it's all through the same system where they verify you guys just as much as they verify clients. Um, so as long as, you know, you send the appropriate proof, like in this case, you know, we'll say a geo picture, you know, so they can track the location. Once you clear the, the spot, just take some type of mobile a video or, or picture to upload. They can geolocate that it is that pharmacy and that you've cleared it and then uh, the rest of the payment will go through. Cool, cool, cool. But that's what he says. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a wicked deal to me. What do you guys think? I like money. Down. Yeah. Okay, you guys are saying that out loud? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Perfect, then it's a deal. Um, I'll send over the address to the pharmacy, get it cleared immediately, and send the proof. He hangs up. Cool. Um... While waiting, I immediately go on to uh, my main site and I just start typing out like, hey, all you kids out there, you ready to see some new LAVG action? Check in tonight at about 7 p.m. We're going to be going live and I'm going to be taking down a whole bunch of stuff with these cool guys. And I look around so the camera can see everyone and show off uh, the rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, cool. What's... uh? 
What's everybody uh, doing? Obviously, this job needs to get taken care of immediately. You have an address, you know, that's uh, infested by a gang called the Jumper Kids. They need you to go clear them. Um, what's everybody thinking? What's what's your plan? What's Big Z and, and Cynthia and Stitch doing right now while he's uploading to his site? Grabbing some equipment. Yeah, probably just looking through my med supplies. Do we have a vehicle, by the way, to get there? Um, yeah, we went. In Unfortunately, se yeah, session zero. Uh, I suggested that if, if nobody's spent any money on a vehicle, you guys can just get a combat cab and get over there. You know, that's always an option. Well, I have a motorcycle to get myself there. Okay. Cool. cool. And someone can always hop on the back of the motorcycle, right? Yep. So that's always an option too. Um, so yeah, let, let's see if anybody, if you have a uh, streetwise or local knowledge or any type of relevant skill or chip that has that relevant skill give me a roll on that uh is it okay for group multiple rolls yeah yeah each person roll that this is just why you're okay, getting ready cool. for the gig after you took that call while everyone's going through their items and kind of organizing their weapons and you know cleaning their gear and preparing for this cool uh roll the streetwise 14. okay i didn't mean to roll that one it's a D10, right? I know. You go to your oh. character sheet and look at your skills, and there's a, little, a roll symbol right next to the appropriate skills. So if you got like streetwise right. or local knowledge, I'll take that, or any type of chipware that maybe has a, a, a skill. Cindy over here critting the streetwise. <laughs> yeah, you got you. You guys all rolled. You rocked that. Okay, so I'm gonna say you know immediately after you get off, you know Cynthia, um, Big Z. Uh, you, you guys both recognize the name, the Jumper Kids. The Jumper Kids are a feral tribe um, from the high-rise ruins of South Night City's combat zone. They're orf orphaned as children by the curses of violence, crime, and narcotics. They raise each other in the abandoned projects and buildings and whatever they can find. So, you know, sounds like they're, they're gang type. They obviously found this pharmacy and took it over. They're, they're into drugs and stuff. Maybe that's the motivation. I don't know, but that's what you know about them. Are they known to carry firearms? Um, yeah, no, most definitely. All all booster gangs and 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 you know things and low lifes and especially in the combat zone, they, they've all got weapons. Right. Um, and then you also have heard of that pharmacy um, because you know there's been some news reports of it and and such. Uh, Big Z knows about it because of some of the shady stuff that the, the pharmacy chains are known for. But the pharmacy is an independently owned business as part of the Pharmo chain. And um, it has been, it has a past record of illegal drug and uh, prescription sales. And it works with hundreds of brands and companies. So it's like, you know, it looks like a legitimate pharmacy and distro sort of chain, or maybe somebody, uh, you know, independently owns this one. But uh, they're known for, you know, shady shit. People go there and, you know, get what they can get and do what they want. But um, that's what you know about that. Um, yeah, and, and let's see, big, let's see. Give me a, uh, does anybody have a uh, general knowledge or um, anything under, what, what kind of media um, uh, skills do you have? Uh, well, my basic one for my thing is credibility. Then I have things like persuasion, composition. I picked up shadow and track. Photo and film, perception, you okay. perception. Yeah, yeah. I've said knowledge. That's not that though. Yeah. Yeah, if anybody has local knowledge, I mean, you have education too. You can give me an education yeah. role for this. Okay. Uh, Good roll. Right. Yeah. Okay, nice. okay. Yeah. So you you're able to you know, big when Big Z is talking about this uh, this pharmacy. You remember an old article? Um, we're able to basically look it up and and find uh, the blueprints for this pharmacy uh, on the net from years ago. They they had a, a complete renovation um, because of a nearby car bombing at a local restaurant. Um, that kind of fucked up the foundation to buildings nearby. Um, so you're able to find that. 
Good. That's good. How many different entrances into this place? Oh, I hear a dog. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, so you can see that blueprint. There's uh there's what you're finding online. So it looks like there's a uh, you know a main front entrance, uh, a side entrance there. Some kind and of back door there. Yeah, that back one's probably the most interesting. Yeah, there's. Is it uh, just the one floor, right? Yeah, it's just one floor. Um, it's just a small little little pharmacy sort of distro spot. Um, and the other thing too is that alley. You can see, uh, you know, from the b blueprint that you found of this uh, in the part of city. It's south of of Little China, just on the edge of the combat zone. Um, they're on that side. That side entrance is typically an employee entrance uh, back there. It's at the end of an alley. Uh, right in between that alley is obviously this pharmacy. The other side is a big uh, sort of apartment project. Um, on the other side is the drive through and then a street. Um, there's another street uh, going this way. It's kind of on a corner. Um, that pulls out into the street. Next to on the other side is uh, an abandoned rubble building that's kind of broken up and fucked up. Beyond that is a liquor store, another apartment complex, random shops and shit. Um, yeah, that's the area. So you guys want to hit it through the uh, employee just, side door there? Yeah, and just so you know, it's uh, it's in the it's in the kind of early evening. We'll say it's uh, between like 5, 6 p.m. Uh, you know, traffic is is picking up this kind of rush hour right now um is this like a legitimate pharmacy or is it a front no i mean they're legitimate pharmacies it's it's part of a chain they're independently owned obviously people own different ones it's part of part of a bigger chain but um they're but, shady. It, but it's definitely shady you know like people they know they know this chain is known for uh you know, typically owned by people that don't give a fuck, and you know, you can go get your drugs and illegal prescription stuff filled, and all kinds of goodies. Um, Do we know, based off of the blueprint, whether there would be a security system or security cameras? No, I you have no idea. Okay. Well, on erring on the side of caution, I get my I get my mask that's like custom gamer now. Like I painted it up and shit, so I have like my tag across the front and shit, just to wear through. Nice. Does anybody feel like splitting the party immediately? <laughs> for multiple entrances is definitely a good idea. Or at minimum, and, like, try and stealth up and lock the two of the doors so there's only the one entrance. Well, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Zen could, could just walk through the front door and start buying, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Maybe uh, make a couple friends, get everybody nice and comfy while the solo and some other people sneak in the back. Wait, have, are they still running this as a business? These uh, drug, these gang? No, no, it's been taken over. They, you yeah, know, they're yeah, the they're guys. Not open. Yeah, the guy said they were running this pharmacy, and you know, it got taken over by the local gang, the Jumper Kids, and uh, yeah, we'll take or as out. he put it, it's infested by them, and need, they need to be exterminated immediately. All right, I'm with you on that. Bummer. <laughs> yeah. So, do we want to try and? Uh, lock the doors and all go in as a group through one entrance or do we want to kind of like <clears throat> pull a pincer maneuver and come in from multiple sides well you're the only one that's a serious combat person here i think oh okay i didn't know how much combat training everyone took so like um very little my my recommendation on this given that a, a single floor meaning it's all ground floor e exits and everything that we mm -hmm. that we're aware of at least we need to lock, try and stealth and lock one of those doors. My recommendation is the back door because it leads out to an alley. And then we come in in twos, one through the front entrance, one through that <coughs> swinging entrance. I'm pretty stealthy. I have to you know, be stealthy in my job a lot of the time when I'm trying to like get the seat story, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm decent wanna... at stealthing too. And I also I have, have um, plastic strip ties I can use to tie the door if it's the right type of door. 
right. spend with That's my door so handles. It might actually be good to send uh, Cynthia and Stitch over there, so that way you're both stealth characters. Uh, mm. If it's a tech lock, then Stitch can handle it. If it's a manual lock, Cynthia can handle it. Meanwhile, Zen and I can uh, post up at the two other entrances and uh, wait for uh, you guys to regroup with us, and then we can go in, you know, shock and awe style. Okay. I'm down with that. Then? Yeah, I'm with it. Cool. Um, Rob, do we have uh, a little bit of time to pick up a, a few supplies for the mission? Um, you can try. Yeah, I mean, okay. You, you you would typically call one of your fixer hookups. This guy Dutch that you guys have, you know, you, you usually hit up for goodies and kind of point you in the right direction to the right night market. Um, it's okay. kind, kind of um, the evening, and might, you might not be able to grab some stuff, but he might be able to get you some stuff, you know? I want to I wanna see if uh, I can use a tried and true method that I'm sure you're very uh, well familiar with, knowing my antics. Uh, I'd like to get some access to some Roman candles and uh, some smoke bombs. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, you want to give Dutch a call, you know, he's like, hey, what's up, man? What's up? One up. What the fuck? What you been up to, man? Yo, you know, same shit, different toilet paper, man, streaming all day, every day, <laughs> trying to get those numbers up. That's what it's all about, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, Listen, I, I caught the last game. That shit was brutal. That was cool. Uh, dude, they came down the center lane. I couldn't handle it. The other guys, they're fucking noobs. They fell out like left and right. I'm sitting there dead center, having to try and take, take down the entire horde. Fuck me, right? <laughs> It was great. It was so, great. So listen, listen. Uh, me and my crew, we're about to do this uh, bang around job with this fucking booster gang kid. They think they're big shit. They took over a pharmacy or some nonsense. I mean, lame as fuck, right? And uh, we're going to come in there. We're going to show them who the real bosses are and how you really take over a pharmacy. Nice. nice. What I need from you is a few supplies. We're going to try a shock, the shock and awe method. You know what I'm talking about? You remember that old school shit? Yeah, the the there's only one little problem. I mean, I can get you some things. Uh, it depends. I mean, just let me know exactly what you need. It's just right now, the the NCPD's got a lot of a lot of the city on lockdown as far as these these fucking uh, these night markets, man. They're, they've been cracking down. Everyone's you know too too fucking scared to launch one. I'm I might just do like a private one next week. Um, you know, I'll, I'll send you guys the invite. You guys can check out some of the good shit I got. But I'm not even trying to run over and pick them up right now. Um, but yeah, what, what do you need? I mean, I got some shit on me. What, you know, some, it just I mean, depends. Ben, I can't going, really get too much heavy stuff, you know? I mean, that's fair. I don't even need heavy stuff. I'm going real grade school with this, you know, figured they're kids. We got to spank them. Right. So okay. I just need some Roman candles, a couple of smoke bombs. And if you have it, a bunch of those strings of firecrackers. Yeah. Yeah. I can get you some basic shit like that, man. Like. Yeah, hold on. One of these neighborhood kids got that shit. I used setting. He's been setting it off all night. It's been fucking annoying me. Um, yeah, where, oh, where, where are you guys at, man? I can do a run. What's up? Where are you at? Uh, right now, uh, right now we're. You know what? I'll send you the quick location before we jump in the cab so that we can have it as soon as we get there. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we can do that, man. I'll just meet you out. All right. Cool. Um, I send him the a geo tag of like the corner next to the apartment building. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll say you know you wait a. Uh, you, you, you wait at least like an hour or so. It's rush hour. Um, you know, it's going to take him a while to get over there. Um, but yeah, he hooks you up. It, 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 he hooks you up. He gives you, you know, he has a couple Roman candles, a strip of uh, lady fingers, maybe a couple smoke bombs. Um, it's going to cost you 50 euros. Not that um, much at all. That, it's like toys. Yeah. All right, cool. So um, I hand out... Uh, Zen and I are both going to take uh, uh, the Roman candles, and then uh, Cynthia and Stitch. I'm giving you guys the smoke bombs, and I'll hold on to the string of lady fingers. Cool. Okay. So, uh, best idea is, or if all goes according to plan, we throw open the doors, chuck in the smoke bombs. Uh, as soon as the place fills with some smoke, we start lighting off Roman candles and firing them in all directions to try and throw them off. I'll toss in the string of lady fingers when it's most opportune, whether it's in the middle of the fight or before we even get into it. But I'm, gi I'm giving you guys a smoke bomb, so if you run into any issues in that alley, that smoke should fill up the alley enough to at least give you a little bit of an advantage on getting wet. Okay. Do we just have one smoke bomb each? Uh, Rob, how many did we get? Yeah, you were able to get two. 
Cool. All right, yeah, so one each. Um, all right, cool. So how, how are you guys planning on getting over there? Obviously, two people can ride on the on the motorcycle if you want to do that. You, the rest can get a combat cab. I'll take a cab. Well, you should be with me if we're going to go to the alley yeah. together anyway. Right, you're right. So, uh, Zen, you want to split a cab with me? <laughs> yeah, uh, so, how's, how's $37 treat you? <laughs> okay, I'll, you know what? Maybe I'll cover this one. Don't, don't, don't worry, my dude. <laughs> okay cool well yeah so you, you you guys order a combat the address is it's you know just south of uh, little china right there in the combat zone um you guys are I, I imagine the you wait for the cab and then cynthia and stitch you follow behind or are you leading the way what do you guys prefer follow behind it's fine uh, yeah you guys are following behind you guys are heading through it's typical night city traffic ha is starting to finally die down from rush hour which isn't that much of a difference. It's still a fucking hectic city. Shit's going on everywhere. Neon lights and people walking around and just hustle and bustle of typical night city shit. Um, but that starts to fade slowly as you get close to the war zone. Obviously, the combat zone is a little bit different. The neon lights start to fade. The, the decay of the streets, the buildings, all that shit just starts increasing. It's just turning into a, a little dingier atmosphere. You start to see, you know, gang members around, shit like that, homeless people, some shady activities happening, some storefronts with the metal gates down, that sort of atmosphere, bars on windows and apartment complexes and just your typical combat zone shit. What's up, one one up? Uh, I tell the cabbie to make sure he parks like two blocks away from the location. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, as you guys are getting close, let me see, does, does anybody have uh, teleoptic uh, cybernetics or teleoptic in their smart goggles? I have a pair of binoculars. Me too. Okay, cool. Well, then, yeah, everybody give me a perception roll. That'll work. Okay. This is a perception or is awareness part of this as well? Um, yeah, this could totally be a, a combat awareness in, into that. So you could do your perception and actually add in that stat. Um, but I can tell oh, you, okay. I can, yeah, I can tell you right now, even just with Cynthia's role and uh, Big Z, you guys are killing it on the perception rolls. Um, so that's great. You guys can, can kind of see up ahead as you're getting close. Um, you know, you, you look and notice that there's a, a couple, uh, gang bangers, kind of little booster gang guys out front. And, um, here, I'll put them on the map. We can see they're just kind of chilling. All right, can you guys see him there? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Well, yeah, no, they're just chilling out front. You can you can see, you know, they're they're jumper kids. You know, they all look kind of young and booster gang style or whatever. They've got a what looks like you know medium or heavy pistol. You can you can at least see that. Um, as you get closer, you can tell one of them has like blue dust all over their face and shit, which is some heavy drug use. Um, you're familiar with that. Um, Big Z's definitely seen it on tour and at the occasional after party. But, uh, but yeah, that's what you see as you're approaching. Rob, which right. is this the street here that's the alley, or is it yeah. this one? Okay, it's this yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, this one back here is the one that's connected to a rubbled out sort of building. This is the alley that's in between this and a big apartment complex sort of thing. And it opens through to the other direction, right? Um, no, it's a, it dead ends. One way? Yeah. Where's the wall of the dead end? It's over in this side here? Yeah, exactly. It's like this. Uh, you know, over, over here on this side is the uh, apartment complex. Back what kind here. of wall is separating the two? Uh, you know, thick building wall, you know, solid. Uh, like how tall, though? Uh, the, apart the apartment complex or the rubble building? The uh, complex. Uh, the complex yeah, is huge. It's like, you know. No, the, but the space between the two, that, that's the block. Oh, the alleyway? Yeah. Yeah, the alleyway width is probably about. Uh, let me see. 
maybe three meters wide. And can I get over that wall that separates it there, the dead end? Um, it's it's you know the building. It dead ends mm -hmm. against the uh, rubble building that's back there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to stealth to get past those guys then, so that we can get into the alley. Yeah, most so. definitely. If that's your plan, you'll definitely have to uh, be stealthy because they're right. out front looking around. You know, they're probably guarding the their new turf or whatever they're fucking calling this. You know, it looked like they're definitely so out we're gonna, front. <laughs> we're gonna be parking that motorcycle a few blocks that way and then making our way yeah. up there. All right, I, I want to find some like street kids that I can ha pay some money to watch my bike when I have to park it. Okay, so you guys want to pull over a couple blocks away or a couple buildings away? Yeah. Or what are you thinking? Yeah. At least a block away that's out of sight, you know? Okay. Yeah, you guys pull over a block away. There's uh, some dingy diner uh, right there. Some, there, you know, some semi-homeless looking kids just kind of posted up out front hanging out and shit. You're, you're able to tell them to watch the car, toss them maybe like 10 euros. Say so there's more coming when I get back. Oh, okay, cool. They're just kind of hanging out. They high five each other. <laughs> so you guys are down. If you're looking at this map, you guys are towards the left. Okay. You know what I mean? So you guys, oh, like, you guys are way down this direction. Uh, yeah, exactly. You're way down there, okay. probably about a block down the yeah. street. Um, mm -hmm. You were coming from that direction. That's how you were able to see them out front. Do you want us to oh, okay. stealth so now? What were you saying? Uh, let's or, or one up? Uh, I, I was misunderstanding the map then. So where the two guys are, that's the front door where the car is yeah. on the map. That's like a side entrance. No, where the car is, is a drive through like where you can pick up your prescription. Um, oh, shit. And the okay, I thought and that was a whole other door over there. No, no, no. On the, on the right side where that car is, that's just a drive through um, You know, where typically a, a car would drive through and pick up a prescription. Um, the front door is where the two guys are, the two gang members are kind of posted up. And then that side door that you see on the left, that's the one that's at that dead end alley, um, you know, that's in between the big apartment complex and the pharmacy. That dead ends into the rubble building that's all just kind of decayed and fucked up. That changes the plan a bit. Yeah, because we thought there was like three points of entrance. We. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I'm the drive through window is a point of entry. <laughs> That's Good true. point. Good point. They're usually uh, pretty uh, here. Okay. Whoever was talking, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Um, could you repeat yourself? Who? Cynthia? Sorry, Me? you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was saying that the uh, usually the drive-through entrances are going to be pretty secure. They're not easily penetrated. I don't think. So um, I think so we're do we want to just. Stealth forward, do that, and then regroup. I think maybe we should not necessarily uh, block that door, but maybe we should use it and come at them mm. from behind without them realizing. Yeah, that's yeah. probably a good idea. I think uh, splitting the party is still good. That way, you know, we don't come in the back and they all run out the front kind of situation. But right. yeah, I definitely don't think we lock that door anymore. I definitely think you guys, should, you two, should still go up to it to creep in. And you can yeah. start the contact. Once you start shooting, we'll know we can start moving too. Exactly, because then and I can, you know, maybe stealth take those two out in the front with like just brawling or martial arts or something, and then we can all, you know, get ourselves right in there real quick. Sound good? That that? Sounds yeah. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Go. Just so I know, going in, then or what? Are you? Do you have any like hand to hand? stuff going on like brawling or martial art i have a good bit of brawling okay cool uh rob when we look at those guys do they look like super armored or are they just rocking t-shirts and jeans um no they're like uh you know they're wearing typical gang clothes um, they look, okay. you know, rat ratty and stuff. It's hard to tell exactly what one of them definitely looks a little bit thicker than the other one. Probably some type of flak vest. Not sure if it's heavier or medium or if the other one doesn't or what. Looks like, you know, a little bit heavier than the other one. And he also has a slightly bigger gun for whatever that's worth. <laughs> you can see okay. that. Um, so then, Zen, I'll take on the bigger buffer big gun dude if you take the other guy on. Sound good? You got it. 
All right, cool. All right, so uh, do we want to start this thing, or how do you guys want to yep. run this? Do you want to try and stealth them out before you guys go up the alley? We should, we should, uh, we should stealth our way to the door and at least open it, and then we can contact you and say we're ready. Okay. Because, hey, if good. we fuck up stealth, then they're going to see us and we'll just have to start there anyways. <laughs> yeah, plan, exactly. eh? Well, uh, you know, Z could uh, walk up to these guys and be like, hey, I heard you guys were the new uh, new deal in town, so can I get some off of you? Hey, you guys got any of that blue stuff? <laughs> yeah, any of that, any of that <laughs> stuff? Uh, <laughs> Dig it. I like it. If you want okay. to do an approach like that, then maybe I could be there with you because I would probably be not so threatening. And I do actually do martial arts. Well, yeah, I'm and just... if one up and I go through the back, actually, because like, if there's a bunch of guys inside the building, like it right. might be good to have the tank in there. And then I also have brawling as well, so I could also... We could take the back if you guys are more comfortable with that. I'm cool either way. Yeah, I mean, I'm not bad on stealth. I have it, so I can creep back there with her, too. So what do you think, Zed? Well, I was just going to uh, provide a distraction so you guys could creep in the alley, like, completely unnoticed. While you guys are kind of chatting a game plan, this, this homeless guy just kind of comes up all drunk and fucking be like, What's up? You got any spare books, bro? He's all fucked up. Kind of oh, being, shit, kinda being loud. Yo, shit, shit, shit. Dude, my dude. Come here, come here, come here, come nah, here. What's up, look, look, bro? Get in here. You got, you got any Yo. books? Here's, yo, here's tw here's twenty euro bucks. Oh you shit! Shut the fuck up oh, oh, and go oh. down the way. All right. All Get right. him to go and distract those two. All right. He takes the twenty oh, shit, euro yeah. bucks. You see those two dudes right there? You He's... can use that euro bucks to get them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of looking for some booze, bro. But well, I could get a little heavier. Thanks, man. He kind of like stumbles off, walking down the block. Bet. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Oh, by the way, I, I turn on my live stream to just start right now. Okay, cool. Okay. You're, you're running you're running live, just like we are. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm getting itchy just sitting here, so I'm going to try and stealth down that alley. Whoever wants to go yeah, with you, me, you can go with me. And right now, you see the homeless guy. Yeah, kind of, he, he, he just got up to the block with the two guys. You see him kind of turn and talk into the guys. Any of you guys have any type of cyber hearing or any type of uh, audio uh, ability or enhancement? Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, you don't know what he's saying, but you can tell he's just kind of talking with them and stuff. And the two guys just kind of shove him and shove him off. He falls down, gets up, they shove him again. He just kind of keeps stumbling off and goes around the corner. Cool. Did any of you uh, guys buy a radio? We all have cell phones, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys all have agents. Uh, and we'll say, just to clarify for future reference, you guys have... You know, little micro uh, earbud sort of comms that you guys can use. Um, you know, this is the dark future, so we'll say that they're micro. You know, if you don't have the cybernetic built in, it can't be internal. You know, that'll have to be its own separate thing. But you do have little micros. You can kind of talk very, very quiet and hear each other directly into your ear. I let uh, Stitch and Cynthia know that the front is distracted. Now is a great time to move. Okay. Let's Sounds go. good. You, so you want to do that while uh, that guy was getting pushed away and stuff? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, give me a stealth roll. You guys will get a, a bonus. To that. I, I need it from both of you, though. Uh, who's trying this? That was yeah. me. I actually don't have the skill stealth. Can I use shadow track, or is that not No, really... it has to be stealth. Uh, yeah. How do I roll it, then, if I don't have it? Um, what's your stealth is under what? Reflex or dexterity? I need to check. Uh, stealth uh, is dex. 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 So just do it. Get, do a roll a one d ten, and then we'll, we'll add it to your dex. Uh, roll a one d ten. You just you just won't get the stealth bonus. You're not you're not particularly skilled in that. Not really. Oof. Oh, that's rough, man. Oh, that's gonna um, be good. Yeah, roll it again. Gee, hey, roll, we're roll, another, roll another one d ten. This is you know supposed to be deducted from the total here, but I mean. I just wanted to make sure this wasn't a critical or something outrageous, but uh, but yeah, as you're as you're starting to go, uh, I'll say Stitch is 
is definitely being nice and quiet right when you guys are getting close to the alley. Uh, uh, Cynthia steps on, you know, a broken, the edge of a broken bottle. It's like, and the two guys just kind of like turn and like, Yo, what's up? And, okay, so and, and I... What, and, when he, and he turns and says what's up, the other one kind of like taps him and kind of like points. You know, you two. I... I, I don't, hopefully they didn't know a stitch. I continue walking towards them, just like I'm walking down the street. No big deal. Okay, you you, you keep walking forward. Um, stitch, what's your plan during this? Uh, can I tell if they saw me as well? I mean, or was yeah, I like you, ahead? You were okay. pretty much. But this is before you got to turn into the alley. They pretty much saw both of y'all standing right there. All right, <laughs> then I'll I'll continue on with Cynthia, and I guess we'll just do the doe eyes and hope it it works out. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, cool. So yeah, you guys keep walking. Yeah, and as, as you uh, walk past them, uh, one of them, the, the one that has like the blue on his face, the blue dust, um, kind of like looks towards you and is like, hey, hey, what's up, ladies? What's up? Woo! And starts kind of like catcalling and shit. Um, and uh, th I these guys are gross and, and definitely young. Uh, too young for you I two. <laughs> I showed the leg. I... Uh... Get a little eye <laughs> going on there, you know. Yeah, he he's responding. He's definitely fucked up. He seems hyped up on on the blue dust. Um, the other guy's just kind of like looking around, still, you know, looking up and down the street. He's not as interested. Um, this dude's kind of checking out. He's like, "Yo, what's up? What are you ladies doing?" No, we're looking for some fun. Oh shit! All right, y'all want to party? You got it. Yes. Right, give, one drugs, please. One drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me some type of seduction roll here, or um, I'll take persuasion, but uh, but I'd prefer seduction if you've got it, uh, since you are flirting. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that up to yeah. Cynthia, since I have neither of those skills. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia is kind of leading this conversation. So, that, oh, well, there you go. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's definitely down. He's like, yo, come on. And he kind of like puts his arm around you and starts like walking you into the pharmacy. Um, Stitch, are you following behind? Yeah, yeah. I'll be like a, a step behind, just sort of keeping my distance. <laughs> okay, you're, start, uh, you're starting to follow in. And just just before you guys are entering in or going, what, uh, what is Big Z and 1UP doing right now? That's what I was going to say. I tap Zen and I'm like, hey. We should go for that alley instead now. Okay, so you see them kind of get caught caught during the the stealthy move, and uh, yeah, let's get your get your uh, icons over there. That's a great idea. Perfect. Um, just about Ooh, to go yeah. in the door. Walking in there. Here, I'll get. Uh, Let's get Stitch over there, right? Stitch is following um, behind. You're out there. I got you there. You see it? All right, perfect. I was like, I have no idea how to do that part. <laughs> yeah, and you should be able to just click it and dra drag your avatar around as we go so you can tell me where you're going. I think you can also hold your space bar or right click and then kind of where you're going to drag and it'll tell you how far it is. Each one of these squares is roughly one meter, so about three feet. Um, so it's... It, you know roughly that but um but yeah so as they're going in you know you, you know you saw them step on the bottle get busted kind of flirting with the guys you guys make your decision to kind of move up to the alley um, Dan, are you down with that yeah we may as well yeah go for All it right, give cool. me give me stealth rolls i'm gonna say you know you guys will get a plus two bonus to, there's only one guy kind of on lookout right now um so Can whatever you guys roll, roll as far roll? whatever you get is stealth we'll put a plus two on that Okay. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. not bad at all. Let's see. Uh, I need to see Big Z though. No. Okay. Yeah. So as you guys are going, um, one ups fucking rocking it. Big Z steps on the same goddamn bottle. It's horrible. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like he didn't he didn't learn from seeing the first time. You know, from seeing. This street it. is made of bottles. <laughs> it's that's unbelievable. Who, who does? So yeah, you stepped on the yeah. same exact fucking bottle trying to go down the alley. It's it, it was almost comical, but uh, but yeah, when you do it, the, the other guy kind of like turns um, towards you and he's just and he's just kind of like looking at you guys. You guys 
are right there. Yeah, I don't turn around. I just kind of turn, but I'm turning to slowly look at Zen with like the eyes and just like, the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, you guys are right there about to go down the alley. So yeah, you, you do that. The guy's looking at you. Um, so your plan is to continue down the alley. That's what you said, Big Z? No, I think we just keep walking until they lose interest. I guess you want to keep walking down the street. Yeah, may as well. I mean, I'm not I'm not tipping our hand just yet. Okay. I was going to say, if you guys keep going down the alley, if he follows you, that guy's no longer on lookout. You guys can just take yeah, care of him in the alley. Yeah. There's only one of them. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, I'm about it. All right, so you guys uh, start heading down the alley. Um, yeah, so you guys are going into the alley. The dude's escorting Cynthia inside as he's... Uh, escorting in and the other guy sees uh, the, the little guy this orange dude right here um, he taps the other guy and is just like yo yo kind of like pointing at you two going down the alley um, but the dude with blue dust he doesn't seem to give a shit he's kind of focused on getting some ass right now <laughs> so he's just like yeah yeah dude, whatever man take care of it and he just starts uh, escorting <laughs> Cynthia inside so Cynthia heads in gets escorted in Stitch is following right behind um, yeah and just so you know as you get escorted in um, you can see that the place has been completely fucking, you know, ransacked and fucked up. Uh, these guys, whether they've been in here for a day or a week, it looks like they've been in here for months. The place is completely destroyed. These three racks, which are typically lo loaded with locked case supplies, are all broken open and emptied out. There's shit all over the floor, wrappers and empty pill bottles. And um, the cash registers over there to the right are all opened and, and just ransacked. The floor, there's almost like a half inch of water and a dripping noise because at one point there was some type of fire. You can see all kinds of burnt wall shit up the side and the sprinklers probably went off and emptied out into the place. Um, there's definitely a dank, nasty smell going on in here. Um, you can hear a little bit of music coming from like the back, but you're not sure where it's coming from. Um, and he just has his arm around you, kind of escorting you uh, forward into the building. Um, but that's what you are. You're into that front room now. You're inside. Um, what's your plan as you guys are getting escorted in? So there's no one else in this uh, no, area you, that can see it? No, you don't see anybody in here right now. It's just this big open room. Um, you can okay. see right right in the front right here. This is kind of mm -hmm. like a half counter where maybe people would go up and get their prescription. Uh, on the back wall of that is just kind of a supply wall. That's all been ripped open and fucked up. That's probably where a pharmacist could also take care of the drive through um, There's a couple doors over here and a walk-through. Um, there's a door over here. Uh, but you're not sure what's what. Obviously, all the doors are, are open, but the place is dark. You hear some music. He keeps kind of walking you forward like you're heading, you know, straight forward. But uh, that's what you see. What's I up? let him lead me. I let him lead me, and I'm just going to wait for my moment. Okay. I, however, since I'm not really, you know, on his arm to begin with, I'll just say, hey, I got to take a leak. Where can I do that? Um, yeah, he kind of like turns and looks at you and he's like, hey, fuck that. Come on. You come, I'll, I'll take you to the bathroom in a minute. And he kind of like reaches and he reaches and he reaches out, you know, to kind of like herd you in with, uh, with Cynthia. Don't worry. We got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So he kind of herds you in together and he's walking you forward. Um, yeah, he comes up to the counter and brings you up there and then he's just like, Yo, yo, Bruno, what's up, man? Come on, I got a couple bitches. And he kind of like yells out. You hear someone in the back kind of call, what's up, what's up? And then you hear like some noises of, of rustling and shit. Um, so let's go back outside for the time being. So we've got one up and Big Z, you guys enter the alley. You guys want to move your characters, um, whatever your movement is. Uh, I'll tell you this, in the alley, um, it's just a bunch of garbage. And, and it's kind of looking like they use this alley as like a local dump for this apartment complex that's next door. Um, there's just a bunch of garbage everywhere, hence the broken bottles and shit. Um, there's definitely at the end, there's like a huge dumpster um, back down near the door um, where maybe like a robo cart would come and empty it, but it looks like it hasn't been emptied in forever. Um, there's a bunch of rubble at the end of this alleyway. It looks like it's covering most of that door. You're, you can't really tell whether it's completely covered or you can get in or out or what, but it's de there's definitely mm. a huge pile of rubble from that big building in the back that's all decayed and fucked up. But that's what you see. So, so go ahead and move your characters. Tell me what you want to do entering the alley. Um, you, you know, you did hear that other guy tell the other guy, like, you know, you just take care of him for whatever that means. 
So personally, I'm gonna go just on the other side of the corner where I know I'm out of, where I know I'm out of sight and just kind of wait for him to like kind of grab him and take him by surprise. Okay. Big Z, what are you doing? I'm gonna move further up the alley and let the solo do his thing solo. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of step back. You go right there. The dude's walking up. You can you can hear him walking up. He's not even trying to be stealthy or anything. Um, but why don't you give me a uh, give me a little stealth roll? You get your combat sense added to that too. Sweet. I just want to check something here as he's walking up. Oh, nice. Okay. And I have a four for combat sense. Yeah, no, you were good with the nineteen as is, man. That's great. Um, okay. So you hear him walking up. There's, there's not, there's not even a pause in his step. He's just confidently walking down the alley, probably thinking he's following you guys or whatever. Um, go ahead and uh, you're gonna. I'm, I'm not even gonna make you roll initiative right now. He comes around the corner. Um, you got him by surprise. I mean, he comes around the corner and when he sees you, he's just like big eyed, like oh shit, like you know, you're standing right the fuck there. Cool. Uh immediately go to a grapple okay yeah so give me your you have that skill or is it within your martial art do you know it's within martial arts so it's going to be i'm, I'm a roll of martial arts and then i get a plus two for grapple with my okay okay style. you already wrote that down great yeah i have that chart that's awesome so yeah give me that yeah all right so here's martial art and then add two to it This guy's gonna be able to contest that so well. Let's see. Yeah, you're able to grapple him up. So yeah, he wasn't able to evade it at all. He's grappled up, he's in your hold, so he's gonna have to obviously compete with that grapple each round to get out of your grip, but you're in control, you're able to do what you want. Um, Make sure he can't scream. Yeah, I, I, one of the places I grapple is across his mouth. All right, we'll take that within the grapple. You grapple and are able to kind of keep him quiet. Um, you're right there. Let's go back inside. Um, so, yeah, as uh, as Cynthia and uh, Stitch are chilling, um, you notice another uh, sort of booster gang guy come from the back here. Um, he looks like he's holding a submachine gun. Um, he's not necessarily pointing it at you. That's just how the icon looks. <laughs> but um, but yeah, he walks out holding it down. He sees you know two attractive ladies there. Uh, he sees his buddy all amped up. He's just like you know, yo shit, what's up? You do got some bitches. And the other guy's just like, yeah, what's up, man? Let's, let's party, man. They're down to party. So he kind of walks back here behind the counter up to where you guys are behind the counter, and uh, and he starts pulling some. Uh, some injectors out of his pocket. Um, Stitch, give me give me some type of med tech roll. You you have uh, okay. Med tech. I've let me got. See, let me see what you got. I have pharmaceuticals and I also have med tech. Which would you prefer? Um, yeah, do pharmaceuticals. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Let's see. I got that much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you instantly recognize the injectors. They're, they're just some type of like adrenaline booster sort of thing. He pulls out a couple of them uh, and hands them to each one of you two. Um, and then he tosses one over to his buddy. His buddy instantly injects it into his neck and then pulls out a little vial and snorts some more blue dust. Hmm. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he, 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 ha he handed each one of you uh, an injector. Um, I, can, I can say Stitch kind of like, y you can... Maybe whispered over to Cynthia, like you know, adrenaline booster, just so you you both know what yeah. it is now. Yeah, that's not that's not super bad. No, it's not that bad, honestly. Like you know, they're kind of they're they're kind of in that hype mode. They're not really trying to be in that drunk, you know, downer mode. They're definitely in the upper mode. These guys, um, that adrenaline booster. I mean, just you rolled high enough. You know, this pharmaceutical. It'll give you a plus two in reflexes, which is kind of cool, but it does give you yeah. a negative two in intelligence because you kind of get scatterbrained and hyped up. So be aware of that. All right, yeah, I'll inject it as well. Me too. Yep. Okay, cool. You guys both inject it. Uh, give me a 2d6. This is how many rounds it's going to last. All right. Or sorry, 4d6, sorry. Uh, do you, Heather, yeah. Uh, 
slash R and then 2D stick or 4D Yeah, if you go, yeah, yeah, and if you just go over, there's this little chart, this little chart over here to the left. Those little icons. There's that dice. If you just click that, it'll pop up with a custom die roll thing, and you can just type, put it in right there if you want to. It's up to you. All right, and you said it was 4D six. Yeah, 4D six. <laughs> So Cynthia, you're hyped up for 13 rounds. Let's let's try to keep track of that Ooh. roughly. Roughly, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah. Perfect. And yours is 12. That's great. You guys are about similar. You guys are hyped up about the same. I'm like, all right, let's turn up this music. All right, cool. So like, uh, this back Doug here, he's like, oh yeah, I like the way this bitch talks, and he and he kind of like goes back to the back room, disappears for just a few seconds. You hear the music kind of turn up and crank. He pops back out. He's like, yo, yo, let's go back here. And okay. uh, and the other dude uh, kind of like puts his arms back around both of you and is ushering you back to uh, Bruno and back to the back. I'm happy to go. Okay, cool. I'll also go. <laughs> so enthusiastic. Yeah. Well, she's, she's pretty <laughs> awkward and shy. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are getting ushered back there. Um, let's go back to the alley. Um, so what's up? What are you What are you guys doing? What Big Z? What did you do? He, you, you saw him choke him up and kind of put his hand over the mouth. What did you do during that? During all this, where Where are you at now? Well, I was moving about halfway down the alley uh, to you know, probably shoot this guy, but gunfire might actually you know alert people inside. So if I could. I'd like to run back up to this grapple action, and since one up has his hand over the guy's mouth, he's probably like pulling his head back. I want to punch him in the throat. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Try and knock him out. Yeah, give me a uh, give me a brawling. Is that what you got? You got brawling. You want to do a punch? That's what I got. And just so you know, you can tell he's not wearing a helmet. Doesn't look like he has any armor, so the brawling should work on 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 his throat and head if that's what you're going for. And he's held up, so you're going to get a bonus. Yeah, you, you hit him. It's not even a problem. Um, you can't evade. You, you hit him. Give me the damage. Okay, nice. Yeah, he, he, he crumbles unconscious. Uh, he's got some blood coming out of his mouth. Uh, but he's definitely unconscious. Uh, he's not dead. You feel a pulse uh, within the chokehold you got there, one up. But um, but he's okay. out. He's out and bleeding badly. But that was a, that was a pretty brutal uh, throat punch while being choked. That was. Uh, I pull out a uh, a sticker, a vinyl sticker. Oh no! That just, <laughs> that just says, uh, just says uh, hashtag lavg underscore one up. And you know, peel that and slap it on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, combat's getting serious. Let's change the mood a little bit. Nice. Ooh. We're getting fancy. Oh, also, uh, also, we should probably take his weapons from him. Okay, no problem. Yeah, he he's out, so it's easy. Uh, you want to shake him down? He's got. Uh, he just has a medium pistol, uh, similar to what some of you guys have, just a two d six damage sort of medium pistol. Um, he does have he does have four euro bucks on him on a cred stick. You can you can jack that. Um, he doesn't really have anything else worth money on him. Okay. Well, let's check out this door then. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy. The red dot. He's he's really wounded. Um, he's currently unconscious, um, so he's kind of out of commission there. You guys head down towards the door to check it out and check out the rubble and the severity of how much it's covering. Um, let's go back inside. Um, so yeah, this this guy, this 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 gangster guy or whatever, he kind of like walks into the back room, leading the way. It looks like it's just some huge supply room. Um, so you guys get ushered into there with the other dude. He's behind. Um, yeah, it's just some big supply room. Um, it, it, you do smell like rotting 
uh, nearby. Like, it, like the, the smell is kind of nasty, but get back here a little bit. Um, and, uh, let's see, give me a, uh, give me a perception roll, uh, from you two, you two ladies, Cynthia yep. and Stitch. I also want to note that I do have a chemical analyzer, um, so if I can use that at some point to kind of tell what is around me. Okay, yeah, you guys definitely notice that the smell went from like dank water to kind of like dead body smell. Um, there's definitely some type of death nearby. Um, you also can s smell kind of like the faint smell of feces. Mm. Um, yeah, in the room, uh, it's just, you know, another huge supply room. Looks like it's been ransacked, obviously. Um, there's some, like, some of these racks have been pushed over, and the guys go over and just kind of, like, sit on them and gesture for you two ladies to sit with them. Okay. You really don't, any... ha you don't have an opportunity to kind of bust out a, a chemical analyzer or anything right now without them noticing that you're kind of doing stuff. You know what I mean? You still want to do it? Yeah, fair. No. Oh, no, no. It's an implant. Oh, right. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you, you can Yeah, it's that. like a sensory thing, I think. Yeah, it's in your nose. Yeah, no, no harsh chemicals really in the air that'll fuck you up or anything to notice. Okay. You know, uh, other than tra trace amounts of fecal matter and decaying organic material. You said well, there was. Music. <laughs> That's true. Rob, you said there's music playing. Um, yeah, there's uh, you know, some uh, some music playing back here. Where is it coming from? Um, they have kind of like a little digital player thrown up in the corner. We'll say it's back here. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to that because I want to put on the right kind of music. Okay, cool. So you go over there, start fucking with their music. I'll put on some, like, Brazilian music. Okay, cool. So you look for some Brazilian music. Um, this guy this guy up here, we're going to say he turns towards Stitch, and he's just like, so what's up? What, what, what are you doing out here? He's, like, kind of making some small talk. You, you know, just uh, hanging out with my, my gal pal who's from here. I'm, I'm from out of town. I'm not really used to all the stuff you guys do out here. She's also a total lightweight, so like her will is a two. So any drugs that they would give her, I feel like would she would just be jacked the F up. I thought you were talking about Cynthia in like, yeah, <laughs> for he's, some reason. No, and he, he's buying it. You know, he's just listening to what you're saying. You can tell that they're kind of jacked up too. He's obviously in, into the female aspect that's here. The other guy yeah. turns towards Cynthia and is, uh, you know, he's just like, yo, what, what music you putting on? What are you looking for? I'm trying to put on some good Brazilian music. I want to dance. All right, cool. So going back out to the alleyway, uh, you guys walk up to the back door to check it out. Um, there's definitely some rubble there, um, but you can knock it out of the way. It looks like the door is kind of jammed and fucked up. Uh, if you wanted to open it, I would have to do some type of strength feed or body check. Probably be loud, too. There's no telling. I mean, it just looks jammed. Um, and you can kind of hear a little bit of music coming from inside, just so you know. So then do we want to still try and take this on, or do we want to just creep back around to the front? Way? Well, it depends. Did I bring my crowbar? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you've got your supplies. You, know, you got like a backpack of supplies or whatever, you know. Oh, we should have asked if there was more people in here. Dang. So what's your plan? One up and Big Z. You're out at that door. Do you, um, you want to try to pry it open or you want to go back out? What are you doing? The only thing I'm thinking is if we leave it as is, then it's pre-jammed for us. So it eliminates this exit way from the inside. I think us being on the other side of this door eliminates this exit. <laughs> I mean, if that's fair to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, yeah, so go for it. Do it. Do it, do it. And what do you want, uh, athletics or something? Yeah, no, this would definitely be a strength feat. So let's do, uh, it would have to be like regular body or strength. If, if uh, one up, if you've got 
you know, strength or something towards that, um, I'll allow Zen to kind of give you a bonus by backing you up as long as he gives me a, some type of athletics roll or whatever he's got and it comes out decent enough. For yeah, I have athletics. I don't have strength feet. Mm, okay, what's your body? Body is eight. Eight. All right, give me a D10. And then, uh, Zen, if you've got athletics, give me an athletics roll. Unless you've got the better body. Do you have, you have uh, eight on your, higher than eight on body, Zen, Big Z? Eight body. Because you're both eight? Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, we'll go with the with uh, solo. So just give me, yeah, a D10 and add that to your body. Oh, okay. Jeez. Apparently not great. But you, well, you could good. get a bonus here. Big Z, give me that athletics roll. That's got to be worth something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is... Oh, it, no, 16. Yeah, no, definitely. You got that 11. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so with the help of Big Z, he was able to... You weren't really prying it open well. It looked like it was pretty jammed, but then Big Z was able to kind of a little bit of leverage and help you pull it. And You guys pry it open. There's a little bit of noise. It kind of cracks open, but the music from inside is pretty loud too. Um you open that door and you can see right inside here um let me get you up near the door um looking in after you pry it you can see that this is some type of back room with some lockers they're all broken open there's some uh um like uh you know mock-ups and and uh pharmacy drapes and stuff that that uh maybe they would be wearing or little coats um, thrown around. Uh, it definitely looks like this is an employee entrance. Maybe this is where they come and put their shit to get ready for a day. Um, there's also a door right there um, that you can see um, that's closed. So, so wait, you said there's lab, there's some lab coats on the ground? Yeah. I, I put one on, like over top of my gear. Okay, you put a lab coat on? <laughs> yeah. Work. Big Z, you just chilling with him right now? Yeah, if these are just personal effects, you know, he's not really interested in that. Okay. Then back inside, Cynthia, um, you end up finding some uh, some Spanish music you put on, um, some Brazilian music to be specific, uh, very very familiar to you. Um, the other guy is just kind of sitting there. He he uh, he taps on his lap like he like he wants you to come sit on his lap after you put on the Which music. One? Which guy? This guy here? Yeah, no, no, no. The guy that, that uh, is at the bottom there that, uh, that's that been talking to you. The guy that's been escorting you in. All right. Uh, I'll go over and I start dancing in front of him. And then I kind of pop open my top and give him a little nipple action and then pop it back up again. And then I make my way towards <laughs> this here. It looks like an office or something like that. So we have a little privacy. Okay. I kind yeah. of like shake it back, you know? Yeah, he, you can tell he's really digging that, and he kind of like reaches over to put his arm around you, and he's like, no, 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 we don't want to go in there. We don't want to go in there. And then he's kind of like uh, walking you in this direction, you know, towards that direction, but obviously mm -hmm. not he's saying he doesn't want to go in that door, not in there. So he might be trying to walk you back out or something. Maybe that's where they dump the bodies. Okay, so I let him lead me to a different location. Okay. So yeah, he, he, he walks you through here. Now, can this guy in this other room see me once we go out the door? No, no. This is a solid wall back here. Mm. Uh, the back counter to this sort of little alleyway that's right here. Um, so, okay. yeah, once you uh, leave this doorway, um, you know, the Stitch and the other guy won't be able to see. You guys will be in separate areas. But he's, he's just starting to walk you through that door. Um, the other guy um, is kind of like laughing and smiling. Um, at the fact that, you know, he thinks that his buddy's taking you out to go get some, you know. And then he kind of like gestures over towards Stitch and tap, taps his lap like, yo, come sit on my lap. Thinking that, you know, the same same game's going to work. As soon as, as soon as, basically, we get out of sight, I do a kick to the back of his head. Okay, we'll, we'll do that in just a second. But, uh, yeah, as you were walking through, the guy was tapping his lap. What are you doing, Stitch? So, um, inwardly I gag, but, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with it and I'll be like, well, actually I'm a little different from my friend. I might be, you know, just a country bumpkin, but I'm into some weird stuff. Are you okay with that? 
He just kind of like looks a little bit surprised and like confused, and he's just like, "Whoa!" He stops tapping his lap, and he's like, "Whoa!" Puts his hands up. He's like, "Wait, what kind of, <laughs> what, what kind of weird shit are we talking about?" I'll take out my mono chains, and I'll just sort of like, just kinda, like gesture, like. He kind of smiles. He's like, "Oh, I could get down with some of that." Okay. Um, right, all right, 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 right. About then is when you step through the uh, doorway. This guy, he he keeps walking through. He he passes this door, Cynthia. Walk, walks through the little walk through from the alleyway counter, sort of a pharmacy counter, and he's you know turning towards this door and about to open it when you step out. You're gonna, you're gonna throw your kick at him. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Give it to me. Give me the. Uh, is it no. your? Uh, you have it's your brawling. No, I have martial art. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Do that. And did and in uh, Capoeira, did you, did you look up your kicking bonus or whatever? Did you add that? Yeah. On? Yeah, if you've got that, let's add that in if you didn't already write that down as a damage or whatever, or a stat. Just one sec. And in the future, you can add that as a stat, you know, just put like halfway to kick plus whatever, plus, you know what I mean? And just make sure you don't forget to also add your martial art into that if you're going to use that as an attack, you know what I mean? Because I have a plus two with kicks. I'm not sure how to do that with using the martial art. And that, no, exactly. just add two. Yeah, let's just add it in our head. I'll explain how we can do that. But yeah, just hit your, uh, do your martial art. Oh yeah, easily. Okay, and then we you got the plus two on that, so you got a nineteen. Um, and then he's turning right. the other way, so this is gonna be rough. But yeah, you you definitely are able to kick him in the head. Um, give me the damage, damage on that. Damage four. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. All right, I'll use this thing. One, two, oh wait, eh. And add four to this roll. So six. So it did six damage. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that guy, um, yeah, it, it hits him. It fucks him up a bit, um, but it definitely didn't knock him out or take him out. Mm -hmm. um, but it fucked him up a bit. You see a tooth pop out. He got a little spit of blood. Um, his nose starts bleeding. Um, but you got the I drop. Can... You got you got the drop on them at least on that. But now that you, you do have a second brawling, a second brawling. Yeah, yeah. What with does that the, mean? Uh, you get a, you get two attacks when you do melee or brawling. Oh, okay, then I'm gonna do a sweep. Oh, oh uh, brawling doesn't do any damage on armor. Um, so you you're you're only he's only exposed on the head and face right now. Um, well, that's you, what I went for. Right? Yeah, it was a on the first one, exactly. That's why it took damage. Your only option with brawling is probably a head hit, unless you're going to use a melee weapon or a gun. Well, now I'm going to do a tweak to trip him, and I get a plus three on this roll. Yeah, put him on the ground. Well, 21. Okay. Yeah, he's not. he doesn't get taken down. Um, it hits him, but it doesn't really sweep him out. Why? It's a high check. Yeah, no. Well, he's got he's tough, and don't forget, it's not a head, and he's got and he's got armor there, so brawling doesn't really I'm deal damage. So it was he I'm was just competing. Yeah, but I'm exactly. sweeping his legs, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he can he can test. It's not you, so Yeah, but I can. Yeah, but I, I rolled and contested it with his bonus and stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, contested. Yeah. yeah, when it comes to brawling and, and melee, on top of which, like I said, you know, if if it, if he didn't have armor, I would incorporate some damage to that. And then if it was enough damage, I would just have him fall down from the hurt, the pain. If it didn't do us, if he didn't do us, uh, whether he did a successful contested uh, to that anyways. Oh. But in this case, you know, I couldn't even slip in a little bit of homebrew. He just he contested. He was able to kind of stop it after that first hit mm. to the head. He kind of stabilized himself. He tried to sweep, didn't work. Um, but now we're going to do an initiative between you two because um, you caught all that on surprise. But now he's ready. So g give me an initiative roll, just so we have that okay. for next round. Yeah, let me find it. Go. His was not good. Yours was awesome. Okay, so you're you're gonna be first next round to, to do another attack. Um, so you can think about that. Let's go back um, out to the alley. Uh, you guys stepping in. You guys just pried open the door. You put on that lab coat. Imagine you guys stepped in. What do you, what are you guys doing? Uh, I mean, I guess we should start clearing the place. progress up to that next room and just kind of, you know, tactical sweep in there to eyeball it, make sure there's no one in there waiting for us, and if there isn't, pop our way in there. Okay, so you want to go up and open that door? 
This this door right here is closed. This door. Just so you know, that door is closed. It doesn't appear locked, but it's closed. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the door. Yep, that's the one. Unless there's another door in here. No, no, that's it. All right, so yeah, you walk up. Oh, you okay. Yeah, you open up the door. Um, it seems like it's just some type of break room. There's a refrigerator there that um, on the side you can kind of see right there. It's ransacked and open, rotten food all poured out. You can smell the rotten food and shit, shit all over these counters. Um, it just looks like some type of fucked up break room. Um, you know, there, there's a closed door right here. You can tell that there's an, a little cut around right here that goes around to the side. All right, What's um, in the so fridge? Oh, yeah. Um, just some, you know, n not much at all. It's been ransacked. I mean, there's some jars and MRE style tins and shit like that, but it's all, most of it's been eaten and ransacked. Is there a glass bottle? Yeah. Yeah, you can see there, there's a couple bottles in there. I take one of them. Okay. And, uh, what do you want to do, one up? Uh, I actually, you know, like, I'm, I'm speaking in a low voice, so it's not, like, bellowing out, but I say to you, Zen, I'm like, yo, uh, seems like a good time to try and get some people's attention our way. What do you think? <clears throat> I think we open the next door first. Sounds good. I'm with it. What do you want to go for? Uh, this one, whoa. Whoa, my map's going crazy. This one right here. Okay. But uh, if you want to take point on that, I would appreciate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I, I imagine that's, that's going to be the, the pursuit, the way we push through this place. Meet shield. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you, got, you go up to the next door. It doesn't seem locked. It's, you know, you can easily open it. Uh, you just start to open it. And then back over here to Stitch. Um, dude is smiling. He's looking at the chain. He's like, he's like nodding. He's like, yeah, yeah. What's up? Let's do this. You want to go somewhere a bit more private? Well, I mean, you're the only one here, right? Is there somebody else that's going to be watching us? He kind of like looks around. He's like, yeah, fuck it. And he kind of like stands up and unzips his pants and pulls his shit out. No. Right in front of you. No <laughs> <laughs> armor. <laughs> okay, um, so I think she's gonna be like, well, why don't you sit down? I'll get there. I'm topping right now. <laughs> right, he sits down. He's kind of like looking at you, just waiting. Okay, so I'm gonna go around behind him. I'll try and be like, oh, look at me. And uh, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll try and bind his hands with the chains. Okay. And then yeah, is he, he he's going just letting for, me time up? Yeah, he, he seems to be going for it. Um, if you have some type of persuasion um, or seduction, give me that. Um, preferably seduction. I don't seduction. have either. Mm, okay. I don't have either. Well, give me... Uh, let's see. Empathy or cool? Yeah, exactly. Give me the ba the base of what what uh what either one of those would be under. So I would go with uh whichever one whichever one you want. Is it empathy or cool? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. So it would be a D10 plus that then. Yeah. So there would be a 10 cuz I have an 8 for empathy. Okay, yeah, you, you start to kind of chain up his arms, and he, like, pulls him back. He's like, no, 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 no. I don't really want to be chained. Yeah, he start, seems a little apprehensive at that part. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, what do you think I was going to be doing with this? He's like, I don't know what I thought. Maybe, like, a little whipping action or something. I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to be kind of locked up. And he start, like, starts kind of, like, getting, getting a little nervous and sweating and twitching a little. Okay, well, then, um... And keep in mind, he's still hyped up on drugs, too. Like, everybody's kind of hyped right now. Then maybe you're into asphyxiation, and I just put it around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Give me, a, give me your uh, brawling. All right. You, you Stitch have, never had to talk about consent. You don't have you, have, you don't have any type of martial art or anything, do you? No, I just have brawling. All right, yeah, do brawling. 
Don't forget you have plus two because of the adrenaline. Right. Yeah. So it would be a 16. Well, this guy just rolled a one, so. <laughs> he only rolled a two out of it, but yeah, you, you, you easily uh, got the choke on him. Um, give me the dam- give me, Squeeze! Yeah, give me some brawling damage on that. I just I want to see um, if he gets, you know, unconscious or a broken neck from this, or how, how, what the, what's the extent of this choke? Um, do you want me to do the mono chain damage, or do you want me to do a brawling damage? Um, do brawling, because you're not really whipping him with the chain. You're kind of using your force. I did that much. Okay, none. I think I got him. Yeah, <laughs> Put the no, squeeze on him. Yeah, no, he's def he's definitely uh you know fighting. He can't get out of it. You, you got the squeeze enough that he's turning blue and going unconscious. If that's what you're wishing to do. Um, that is what I'm wishing to do. <laughs> all right, cool. So he's going unconscious. Let's get back to uh, Cynthia. You've got you've got the jump on this initiative. So what do you want to do? You can do some more attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, another kick. You say I get two attacks, right? Exactly. You get two with brawling. And don't forget, uh, I mean, well, everybody's hyped up on the adrenaline. So I've just been canceling out the two bonus because it, it plays into his. Uh... Well, okay, no, so it's actually. His, his would be dexterity. Go on. Okay, so it'll be a plus five on this because uh, I forgot last You're time about. You're tapped plus your two, yeah. Yeah. So it's 18. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, you get another hit on him. Give me the damage. And I imagine you're kicking him in the head again. Is that what you're trying yep. to do? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's... Uh, hit the soft spot. Plus four to this. So five. Uh, okay, cool. Give me another attack. You want and to then do, I'm you want okay. to do a second attack? Yeah, I want to do the sweep again. See okay. if that works this time. Yeah, go for it. He's he's uh, he's definitely beat up enough here. Um, he's getting he's getting you know negative uh, because he's looking he's looking seriously wounded right now. Cool. So it's plus four to this. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah, you're able to sweep him out. Give me the damage on it too. It okay. doesn't do damage. It. it takes him down he's on the ground basically That's well it's going to do damage when you sweep him i mean you're kicking his leg i just want to see what kind of uh do you have a kicking uh, I don't damage? Know what kind of damage to do for that then um just do uh, uh one one d6 plus damage modifier for a kick yeah depending on your body but yeah just give me that give me a one d6 plus okay. um well here's the d6 and plus what what's your body, body. my body seven So that should that'd be no modifier. Yeah. Um, wait, if your body is seven, uh, brawling damage. Oh, you're doing capoeira. Yeah, which is a little bit more. Yeah, you should be getting a kick bonus on that as well. Did you already put that in? No, because I, like I said, the the sweep it says technically doesn't do damage, just knocks the person down for the round. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm curious. Um, I don't know. What to to use other than the die six? So but it doesn't say you, it doesn't say kicking under the capoeira with a bonus. I'm just curious because if you get a, a just a, a few more points, uh, you have a kicking a bonus to another Here, I got it right. maneuver, don't you? Could you use that one? I get it. I get uh, like plus four damage with a kick normally. Wait, Are you get a plus getting two plus with a kick. Capoeira gives you a plus two on the kick right now. So yeah, when you yeah, do that, you, you, you easily sweep him, he drops down, but you also hear a swift crack of his shin bone as you do it. Um, so it seems like a, you cracked some bone there. Nice. Yeah, and he's down on the ground. He's he's currently wounded. Um, he's not unconscious, but he's out of commission um, on the ground, so he's prone. Um, so yeah, he's going he's gonna to try to get up <laughs> during his action. Yeah, and he successfully stands up. He got an excellent roll, but he just as quick as he stands up, he crumbles back down because of the broken leg. Um, so yeah, you sweep him down, you hear the crack, he drops. He quickly tries to get back up to, to attack, but uh, crumbles back down with a broken leg. Um, so you're kind of standing over him. But uh, but yeah, back over to one up and Big Z. You guys walk back into this room. It looks like it's another sort of elaborate break room it's probably part of the other break room it has like some cooking stuff and 
you know, more supplies and shit like that. Every, everything just like the other has been ransacked, except for the second you open this door, you guys get hit in the face with, like, a huge fucking shit smell. Um, it looks like there's, like, shit and piss on the floor from these bathrooms over here, which the doors are open. Um, the one directly in front of you, um, you can see it's, you know, overflowed and the toilet's all broken and it's fucked up. It reeks. Um, give me a give me a perception roll. And none of, none of you guys have any type of cybernetic uh, audio, right? Nope. I started out with it, and then yeah, once I, I ran out of money, I decided uh, against it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you got you guys rolled well enough. Um, while you guys are chilling out, um, you can hear kind of coming from the other bathroom. Um, you're not sure exactly where it's coming from, but from around the corner, you hear. So yeah, you hear a little bit of uh, throwing up and some vomiting. So, Well, Zen knows what the next move is. And if Zen knows, I'm sure 1-Up is two steps ahead of him. Uh, game time, I believe, is the, is the key term here. Yeah, we got we to gotta give, uh, gotta give your followers a show, man. It's great. Content warning, yeah. vomit. Yeah. Content. Um, are we able man to... drowns in his own vomit. <laughs> are we uh, are we able to access that bathroom from where we're at? Um. Yeah. I mean, you could walk forward. Uh, right here is the toilet that's overflowed, and you can you know it's kind of pouring out into into the room. Um. But from around the corner, over here, you can hear some throwing up and stuff. Um. And just so you know, th this this whole wall shit is all just broken down and broken through. It's kind of a closet area. Okay. Um, but it's all just torn through. This, this, all this, just, you know, it's all been wet with uh, the sprinklers as well. So um, I'm hoping that the two of us can just run in there, grab a leg each, and uh, swirly the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> I'm I'm a hundred percent with that shit. So Rob, you wanna you wanna do this? Yeah, you walking up to it, and you guys gonna come around there and see what's up. Uh, let's just hear it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop it. Jesus. Will you guys grow up? Um, so, yeah. Uh, you walk around the corner. You can see that there's a guy there. Um, let me see if I got some type of icon we can put there for him. Um, yeah, there's just another, another dude in the bathroom. Um, but this guy, as you come around the corner, you can see from the back, he's kind of like leaning over the toilet. And uh, and a as you kind of co come around the corner, you can see that he's, you know, his clothes are just all covered in sweat and kind of like he, he pulled off. Um, it looks like he pulled off his shirt. It's kind of thrown in the corner. His body is sweating. He's covered in boils um, and he's just throwing up. Uh, he looks pretty, pretty fucked up. That's what you see. So, yeah, I want to keep just, your distance. We just look at each other, uh, look back at the guy, bust in like like murder hobos, grab the leg <laughs> each, and dunk his head in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you that, guys enter. Yeah, right in that. All right. So you want to go in and kind of grab his legs? Yeah. And force his head down in there? Yeah. All right, give me a, bra a brawling roll. This is, uh, I mean, what's your what's your uh, your reflex? You said it was an eight. Uh, mine's a ten. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, you easily you're you're easily able to do this. This dude is completely fucking negative to the point he's you know he's he's got enough modifiers from being covered in boils and being sick. You're able to easily kind of grab his ass, but he's preoccupied, sick as fuck. You guys grab his legs. Um, he kind of stops throwing up when you grab his legs, just enough to turn around. You can see he just looks like he's sick as hell. Um, 
and he just kind of like looks at you, throws up on himself somewhere. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> um, so yeah, you grab the back of his head. You want to shove him into the toilet? Is that your plan there? Oh, we're we're picking this dude up. It's like a keg stand inside of a toilet. Swirly. Yeah. Okay. So Way yeah, to go, holding. Yeah. So you grab him. You pick him up. Head down in there. Yeah, you have his whole head down in there. He he's drowning. He can't, you know, combat you two holding him there. You holding him in there till he drowns? Well, you know, as until the bubbles stop, I suppose. A okay. little after. All right. So you're holding it. Uh, he definitely stops moving. His body goes limp. Uh, the dead weight is almost hard to hold. Um, he's definitely sweaty and stinky, covered in boils. He's sick 